good evening students in today's class we are going to discuss how to prepare for icnc 2024 board exam it is always preferable to have 50% portion one exam second 50% the second and then for full portion you can have total three exams it is always preferable take it as an example here i have taken like if you are writing from 2nd december to 22nd that is 50% portion exam we can have a time table like this you can have revision on one day next like second day you are having a revision i'll give you the schedule also for this and the next day you can write exam so similarly for the other subjects also it is planned hope you have understood this next these are the portions what you have so example in maths you have chapter 1 to 3 4 to 14 16 23 26 so first 50% remaining portions were done now for the other subjects also you are having the portions written you can go through these portions next for geography computer application or physical education then english paper 2 and 1 chemistry and biology we have given so in chemistry first 50 have written the other topics now you are having 1 2 3 4 5 and 12 chapters now what is the revision plan again i have given you an example taking chemistry so if you observe here on 19th you are having revision that is 9 to 10 30 you are going to study periodic properties then 11 to 12:30 chemical bonding so here it's and we have to solve all the question answers also along with the revision take half an hour break in between each schedule like 1 to 2:30 you have acid bases and salts then take break here then again 3 to 4:30 analytical chemistry 5 to 6:30 you have more concept and two hours organic chemistry you can revise now next day you can write an exam between 9 to 11 this is for chemistry similarly you can follow for the other subjects now after writing the test you have to definitely go for error correction that means if in chemistry you are making mistakes in organic chemistry preparation equations and the test are differences the numericals in the null concept and in physics you have done mistakes in calorimetry and household circuits numericals biology about location question and diagram related questions then you have to write the correct answers so that you can rectify these mistakes in the upcoming exam hope you are all able to understand now on the same thing you have to follow for first 100% portions second 100 third 100 and again you have to follow the error correction now if you come to the final exam schedule you can understand that in between you are having gap that we have to utilize so i'll explain this exam 1 you are having english 1 and after that you have two and half days gap so how did you get that half day because here 18th afternoon also you can consider half day for your preparation that is 18th half day 19th and 20 you can have a revision schedule as we have done for second 50 percent now second exam english to you have enough gap here for on this till history and civics you have this gap now if you come to the next slot that is sixth exam there is only one and a half day gap for geography So you have to prepare it properly. Now you can observe here. After completion of geography, for physics you have four and a half days. Again, computer application, physical education, and for chemistry you have only one and a half days. So you need a proper preparation for chemistry. Last exam is on twenty fourth March. so how you can plan the schedule like during the examination i have given here so now imagine that you are having 19 computer and physical education so i have given it for chemistry you can just observe this for chemistry 
after the examination you can start from 1 to 2 30 lesson 1 to 2 then a break of 30 minutes later lesson 3 4 5 6 and once again very important thing is the same day you have to have the revision of all these concepts now next to 20th march you have the full day so two hours for lesson 7 then 8 9 10 11 12 you have to complete and again you have to take revision here and 6 to 9 you give a practice test for this now next day 21st 5 to 8 am in the morning you can have a revision for all these concepts so chemistry you can do like this similarly we can plan for the other subjects also so hope you have understood the planning so all the very best for all the students thank you so much